Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of our Distant World Universe Let's Play. Um, last episode we sort of resumed our disastrous save that we had going on here. Um, we've um, had to resort to some tech trading to sort of survive. It's not, like I said, it's not sort of a general thing that I enjoy doing, but we didn't really have any choice. So that's what we've done. Right, what we've done this time, we've actually built up some of our more some of our um, armored forces again. They're all sitting on our invasion fleet over here, so we have uh, 15 armored units, which is good. We've repaired our uh, military forces, so they're sort of back up to strength and upgraded those a little bit, so we're a little bit stronger than what we were before militarily. We are now actually going to attempt um, something that I wouldn't do in a normal game, but given the situation we're in, we are going to give it a go. We're going to try and take over these two plants down here, and maybe even this third one here, if, if the Richto don't take it first. Then that's going to give us access to this independent human colony here. And if we actually colonize that, that will maybe go some a little bit of a way into um, you know, helping us get back into this game a little bit better. So that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to move our first invasion fleet down to Windus down here. We're just going to say attack. Um, we're also going to move our second fleet down there and just move it to the planet. Um, actually, we're just going to pause our first invasion fleet until our second fleet moves out. Just so they can clear out any um, you know, potential defensive bases or space walls or things like that before our invasion fleet actually gets there. So that should be fun now. So we're going to move them out now and that should be good. Cool. All right. That is going to be interesting. So it looks like this planet's getting raided quite heavily. Extremely heavily. Wow. These guys are a pain, aren't they? The Lone Claw. Dear me. 374 ships. It's lucky we're paying them off because we couldn't fight them off. Um, cool. Selling us technology. No, thank you. What is shield reinforcement actually? Shield reinforcement. Where are we? Oh, that's what we're already researching. No, no, it's nearly finished. I'm not going to pay you for that. Something we've nearly finished researching. Base has been completed, which is a research base, I assume. Yep, so that's good. Hopefully, start getting a little bit more bonus income there. Any money we can get is good. Shield reinforcement has completed. So improvements to existing, so our shields are a little bit better, which is also really, really good. So that's definitely going to help us out. So we have a look at one of our things. Now up to 725 shields on our frigates, which is awesome. So what about our capital ships now? 870 shields. So we get a lot more, a lot more powerful in our shields, so that's good. So uh, hopefully a little bit more survivable than we were before. Definitely running into a lot of war weariness problems now. So we're going to look at our happiness. Put this planet down here, negative 20. These ones are okay. We can deal with that. They've all got troops sitting on them, so that's fine. I'm not really worried about those. Cool. All right. It's going okay. Um, yep. Yep, yep, yep. All good. Cool. So you can see our fleet's moving out. And it's going pretty well. So we've got our first fleet still here and our home fleet as well. So they're both in our home system. Luckily, we haven't been attacked by any pirates pirates um, around here I suppose because the Lone Confederation who we are paying off sort of look like they're dominant in this area um, so they probably fight off any other pirates in this area which actually sort of works to our advantage I guess so yeah frigate requires refueling which one's those must be one of our first yep it's okay we'll just leave that for a while got energy collectors on them at the moment so that's good it means they're not sort of using energy while they're just sitting around empire contact no thank you gonna save every little credit that we can possibly get All right, we have two things happened. Um, a new resort base is finished, and an enemy, enemy fleet has been um, spotted on an attack vector to one of our planets. Um, given that we're going to get there in time, we are going to see if we can actually propose an end to the war. There we go, so that's easy. That problem is fixed. Cool, so that, that is no longer an issue. Um, yep, cool. Can we actually come at peace with these guys too? Yeah, cool. So we're only at war with the Gintus now, which is good. Not really going to help our war, war weariness situation until we actually are not at war. But for now, that is fine. Cool. All right. So our fleet's nearly down here. So we're actually going to have a look at this. See how this invasion goes. How's our population? 19 billion plus 8%. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It is what it is. Um, so there's nothing to worry about here, no military and nothing else. Brintel are initiated, initiating a general blockade of one of our colonies. Oh, you are absolute dogs. All right. Isn't that in our home system? 
It's in our home system, you absolute toolbags. You're blockading a planet in our home system. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Although, look at the size of that ship 635 power. Jesus. Capital ships, they're enormous. Troop transports, they got troop transports as well. As well. well I suppose at least they're not invading us. Um, that is, and the Lone Claw. Oh, dear me, this game, I tell you. <laughs> this game is an absolute dog. Um, all right, where's the Lone Confederation? We can't, Lone Claw, we, we can't fight you off, so we're just going to request it. Yeah, 1242 is actually less than we paid before, which is good. Um, all righty then, so they're actually sending a second fleet down there. If they actually declare war, we're in trouble. We've only got our first invasion fleet and our home fleet there. I'm not really quite sure that we can actually fight them off, although maybe we could. Who really knows? Interesting. Anyway, we are down here. We are down here dealing with this now. Um, this is... That's our fleet there, and we're invading this planet. Yep, so this is going to be a quite an easy fight, which is good. So 785k of our strength versus 51 of theirs with our, tr our troop generals and stuff there. So we're going to take over this one really cool, which is really quickly, so that's good. One of our mining bases under attack. That should be okay. Um, we should be able to keep these guys at bay. Yep, which shouldn't be a problem, which is good. Cool, 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 cool. New ability. So we've brought the Gazarians into our empire, which is ship maintenance negative 4%. It's quite good. Hopefully they save us a little bit of money there. Alrighty, so we've taken this one over and we can now actually colonize this planet as well. So we're actually going to jump in here really quickly. Send our colony ship down there to colonize that ASAP. Awesome. Cool. So what we're going to do now, we're going to queue up, um, I think, probably one planetary defense, one infantry. Because infantry are a lot cheaper. We're actually going to queue up, um, I think we're putting in three armored forces. So it's a little bit of an overkill. Given they're a little bit bigger in population, Maybe we should actually put in four. Well, we won't be too far away, so we always bring back. If these ones look like they're in trouble, we can actually sort of bring those back. So that's what we're going to do. Alrighty, first invasion fleet. Load the troops. Second fleet. Um, running a bit low on any, um, bit low on fuel. That's okay. Capital ship under attack. It's not a problem. The Gintus trying to take back their planet. It's not going to work. Sorry. Going to lose your your um, troop transport there. Alrighty, oh, I can't believe they did that. Honestly, why would you blockade a planet in our home system? Although, potentially, if we can actually get our fleets back, if we can actually throw our entire military at them, we could potentially take out all these ships in one go, although we will probably lose quite a bit of ourselves, which could actually cripple them, um, given they've committed so much there. So, what we're going to do, we are going to... Um, I'm actually tempted to send our second fleet back. First invasion's got 1,400 firepower on it, so it's already got a few frigates and stuff there. So hopefully they can hold their own. I'm thinking that because the Richter have been quite active around this area, this system over here isn't really going to have a lot on it anyway. Um, this planet's a lot bigger though. Interesting. Um, 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 um. I'm going to send our second fleet back. I'm going to say repair. So we're going to, pack to go back to our home planet. Raided one of our bases. Yeah, it's fine. Didn't really loot a whole lot, really, considering. I may lose that anyway. I don't know. They're going to board it by looks of it. Um, rebelling against us should be okay for the moment. First fleet has of invasion fleet loaded back up. We're actually going to come back over here and attack this planet. We could attempt to attack this one. I think I'm not going to be greedy and actually just to try and take two planets um, and then leave our invasion fleet down here as a little bit of protection. And then we forgot our other two fleets. We got we have 4,400 firepower plus our escorts, which is 1,440. May actually retrofit our escorts now to give us a little bit more. A little bit more firepower on our escorts. We're going to auto upgrade manual. So that takes us up to 124 firepower there. Um, mm, 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 mm. 435 shields, 260. I don't think I'm going to touch the defenses. I may just add on more more weapons. Put on another three there. Put on some rail guns as well. Do you mind put some? I might put on a couple of Gravitron beams. Put on two. And what else can we put on? 
rail guns. Where's our rail guns going? Rail guns. I'm gonna put on five rail guns. So that's a lot of extra firepower. So generally, I like my escorts to sort of be to be lighter um, and you know, not as expensive. But I think given in this situation, this may be sort of a unique one. So we need a lot more reactors, which is fine. So there we go. That's enough. Love support. Have module. And that should be fine. Double check. Yep, all good. Cool. All right, we are going to now retrofit our home fleet, which should give us even more additional firepower. So once, by the time our um, second fleet gets up here and repairs and refuels, hopefully these guys are still hanging around. Actually, going to declare war on them and try and take out their entire um, fleet there, which hopefully will be a big blow to them. So there's quite a bit of firepower committed, committed or military strength committed to those actually blockading our fleet. Give it to our home system. Um, that should hopefully be okay. All right, we are now invading this planet. It does have a defensive base, which is potentially a problem. But, yep. Yep, this one's going to be... Okay, we've done that already. Cool, so that's easy. I'm actually taking over this defensive base as well. So it's a really good thing for you guys that if you're sort of doing something like this, um, if you actually take over the planet, because it's your this base is actually sort of linked to the planet, um, you know, if, if you take over this a planet and you've got a defensive base, you actually take over the base with it. So there we go. So we've actually got a base now here with three, 365 firepower, 4350 shields as well. So that's quite good. So this planet is protected already. Do the same here. Um, planetary defense and infantry garrison both of those. And garrison going to garrison four armored units, which means we're going to have a few more on our invasion fleet that we can load up and we can sort of switch back and forth between these two if we need to do that. Troop general increased our experience. I'm actually going to... So we've got... Where's, where are they? So one's on the Haas planet there. I'm actually going to move the second one to the planet that we've just taken over, which is Akunai. Akunai, however you want to pronounce that. So move this guy to Akunai 1. There we go. Um, so that means they can both get a lot of experience, but also provide a little bit of a boost to these planets, which I assume are probably going to rebel at some stage. Given that we've done that, I don't think I'm going to be trying greedy at going to be try going to try and be greedy and take this one over as well. I'm actually going to try and end the war um, ASAP. Cool. I could have maybe gone for some like concessions and stuff, but it's not really worth it. Um, our fleet admiral has got the new character trait drunk, so that's not really great, but that's fine. Can't really do anything about that. Um, yeah, so, so that's hopefully going to, well, it's going to do two things. It's going to fix our war weariness, so that will start coming, well, there we go, none, so it's down to there. Um, and so it's also going to start making these plants a little bit happier, so they're not going to be quite as upset that we're actually sort of at war with their, you know, their empire kind of thing, so we can sort of deal with that a little bit better. Let's keep an eye on this one. It should be okay for this time. Hopefully they won't rebel after this one. So, yep, we should win, win this one without too much problems. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Cool. Um, planet rebelling. Yeah, that's going to be fine as well. So that's good. We won't worry too much about those for the moment. Second fleet's not too far away, which is good. First fleet's there. Home fleet's there. Home fleet is retrofitting quite quickly, which is awesome. Bunch of extra firepower. So actually, now it's a 3750, so it's pretty much doubled and a half um, our firepower for that fleet. So now up to 10,000, 10,500 firepower. Still any middling, the Securans are absolute bananas. They are way out in front, which, you know, because given that they like us and they are our allies, they absolutely love us, which is awesome. So that is going to be really hopefully beneficial the further the game goes on. And, yep, yeah, cool, awesome. Medium freight under attack, can't do too much about that. How's the private sector going? So actually up to positive cash flow now, which is really, really good. I'm going to guess that's probably because um, Trantor has redeveloped and increased its population quite a bit so up to 20 billion almost value is definitely still going up now so and revenue is increasing there so looking at that figure there revenue is sort of the amount well that's it's based on gdp and then that's what your what you actually tax is based on your gdp so gdp is derived from value and value is derived from population and quality and then yeah from the gdp that's actually what you tax so the higher your gdp is the more tax you actually get so that's why when i jump in here and have a look at these planets and it's only got 6k revenue um that means that basically that we're not going to even we tax it 100 percent we can only get 6k um so you know taxing it at you know realistically say around 40 percent um you know you're only looking at around two and a half k tax so so not a whole lot given the way negative 273,000 um cash flow so yep 
I'm actually tempted once we've because we're actually playing 60k in troop maintenance. I mean, obviously our ships are the biggest one. Um, everything else is not really a whole lot there. Given that we're paying 60k in troop maintenance, most of that is going to be armored forces. Um, yeah, um, I don't know. I was just think, thinking about scrapping it just to save some money, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe it's not the best idea. So we do have a colony ship set up, don't we? Come down here. I swear we did. Is it down here already? It's down there already. Oh, cool. So we're about, about to take over this planet, which is going to be awesome as well. 1,000 credits from the Ricto. Thank you. And 471 from the Securians. Thank you as well. We'll take everything we can get. Put down a rebellion, which is good. Complete research into nu nuclear supercharging. Improvements to our reactors. So that's good. So we're going to jump into now. I think we might even jump into Hyper Tribes again. Given that we've got, um, the only reason we're going to do that is given that we've got planets down here which are quite a way away from our home system, which is all the way up here. So the quicker we can get down here, um, the better, is basically the, what I'm thinking there. So about to take over Xerus down here. There we go, colonized. And they've given us 17,000 credits. And they're already a pol uh, colony of 1.6 billion, which is awesome. They do have Pirate Fortress, two hidden Pirate Fortresses there, which is... Going to have to keep an eye on that. We're not strong enough to take them over at the moment, although maybe if we can actually send our invasion fleet over here, which we're actually going to do now. They've got eight armored units on there, so actually, yeah, deposit, deposit those on there and then try and actually attack the pirates there, see if we can actually get rid of those. Polymer discovered one of our planets, our home planet actually is under attack, but we've got our entire fleet there, so that's not nothing to worry about. All right, yeah, then. Oh, I can't believe these dudes. Honestly, I can't get over this. That's terrible. Can't really see. I mean, they've... They've probably got a big chunk of their military, which is concerning because they've got very big ships. So, like their ships, 630. Um, and look, heaps of shields on there as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe we're not going to be able to take them on. Maybe this going to be too damn strong. They've got ships, um, ships with a lot of shields, which is good that we've actually got. Gra uh, gravitic beams now, which means that we can be able to bypass their shields straight away. So I'm thinking what we'll do. One second, fl um, second fleet has repaired, and it's there now. So they're going to re repair quite quickly, which is awesome. Didn't we queue something up? Um, no, we didn't. There we go. Mustn't have clicked the button right. There we go. So one second uh, fleet has repaired, which they're doing now, which is good. So that should happen quite quickly. Got first fleet um, and our home fleet. So. Our frigates and our um, capital ships actually have gravitic beams. So we're actually going to basically we're going to move all our ships in orbit around here. So they're basically they're sort of sitting on top of these planet on the top of these ships. Then we're going to declare war, which means we're already in really close proximity. So they're going to be able to start using their gravitic beams very very quickly. Hopefully they don't have the only problem we're going to have is, is if they've got boarding because because we're sitting on top of them. Um, once our shields are down, we don't have anywhere near as many shields as what they do. Um, once our shields are down, that means they'll be able to board us. So, yeah, not really sure how this one's going to go. If this could be a game breaker, guys. I mean, I think a lot of things from here on out could be a game breaker if things sort of go really badly for us. Like if we lose our fleet here and we're at war with them, um, like if we lose our first, second, and home fleets, like we're gone. Like you know, we're not going to be recovering from that. So, if that did happen, I would end the game. I believe. Um, hopefully, it wouldn't. But you never really know. 18th fleet, is this the X-Humans? It looks like it is. Uh, yep, X-Humans down there, cool. Capital ship requires refueling, which is fine. Second fleet repairing, which is good. Um, invasion fleet's down here, so we're gonna move these guys. We're gonna say to our invasion fleet, put your troops down on the planet. Omgul 4, under attack. One good thing about them, they sort of took out that, that one, that um, pirate really quickly. Um, yeah, like I said, not really sure how that's going to go, but like we can't really let them do this either because it's, you know, we can't we can't let them block aid. Like it's just the principle of the damn matter. I mean, apart from anything else, can't let them another empire block aid a planet in our home system, like right next to our capital. Like just, you can't do it. Like it doesn't matter what, who they are. Under attack from pirates, that we should be okay. We should be able to deal with that. Accept your proposal. Monetary gift. Thank you. Territory map. Yep. Good. Done. We've got lots of defences on here anyway, so even if they do raid us, it's not going to be a problem. Not really worried about that. Who are these guys? 237 ships. Oh, dear me. Pirates are very strong in this game. I shame it's because we're going to be at expert difficulty, aren't we? 
Alright, you got our armoured forces down on the planet. Actually, you going to garrison them, all of them. Not really sure it's going to make a difference in this situation, but... Yeah, why not? Um, there we go. And these guys as well on Xerus. Cool, might as well just garrison the whole lot. There we go. What we're going to do now, jump into the colony screen, into facilities. Click on one of these and actually say attack. There we go. Um, yeah, so 206k, I think that's the pirate. Yeah, it is. Against 604k of us. So we should be able to take these guys out really quickly, which would be good. Get all that stuff off our planet. Um, yeah, because I'm not sure, like anyone who sort of hasn't played the game or sort of new to it, once pirates actually build, what, so what pirates can do, they can build a, as you can see here, so jump in here. They can build, first thing they can build is a hidden pirate base, then they can build a hidden pirate fort fortress, and then there's a third building they can be uh, build. If they can actually do that, um, they actually take over control of the colony. So you basically want to prevent prevent them sort of getting to the three levels. Um, yeah, so we've actually got one on there, two on there, which we're dealing with, one on there, and they're building a new one on there. So we have to do something about this one as well. But that's okay for the moment. Cool, cool, cool. Second fleet, refueling. Fine. Alrighty, guys, we're going to give this a whirl. Um, maybe we should actually wait until it's right over here and here as well. Here as well. So like, I'm just thinking about orbit. So basically, when they're in close orbit, I'm actually thinking that our spaceport is actually going to come into play as well. Um, with the 400 firepower there. So it maybe could be a little bit of a trick. So I'm actually going to leave things for the moment. First fleet, home fleet, second fleet. They're all sitting there. They're all ready to go. New intelligence agent, which is good, so we can put them on counterintelligence for the moment. Uh, there we go, cancel that. Counterintelligence until cancelled, done. Yeah, so you see the orbits coming around this way, so soon they're going to be basically lined up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, move your fleet to this planet, move your fleet to this planet, move your fleet to this planet. Um, I think this is the best way to go. Hopefully, um, this is not a mistake, we hope they don't have anything that, maybe hopefully they don't have gritic beans themselves. If you look at their, um, the Kuro, so we jump into one of their planets. Oops, sorry about that guy's message. There we go, fixed. Um, cool, so we jump into their little Galactopedia entry. We can actually see what they prefer using. Preferred weapon is the phaser and they focus on efficiency. So they actually use phasers. I'm going to guess they have phasers. The phasers have... Um, phased beams, plus 10% targeting bows, more effective against armor, hit penetrative reactive armor more easily. Interesting. So there's not too much of a problem there. They're very slow as well. They, they actually don't do massive damage either. So hopefully they've got lots of phases. If that's the case, um, we may be okay. But yeah, we're going to give that a whirl. See how that goes. Monetary gift from the Quimino. Thank you very much. Um, nearly won this battle, which would be good. Get them off our planet. Galaxy map swap, thank you. Monetary gift, 863, thank you. Alright, so we're up to 10 colonies, which is still not a whole lot, but it's better than we were before. A couple of ex-human fleets buzzing around. Looks like they're just refueling, which is fine. We're happy to let them do that. Money's still, you know, it's okay. Getting a lot of spaceport and resort income, which is really, really good. Helps us out a lot. All right, guys, here we go. This could be, um, actually not quite yet, but it's quite shortly. could be an absolutely epic fight. So we've got our defensive base there. I'm going to have our spaceport coming to play quite soon as well. As soon as we're sort of mixed, um, you know, sort of they're over each other or close to each other, declare war, which should mean that we basically start firing straight away. And then we're just going to, like, we're going to have no idea what's going on. So we're just going to basically have to sit back and wait until someone flees, which is hopefully not us. Cool, could be fun. We've eradicated the faction from our planet, which is awesome. So there we go, that's all done. So actually, off there, got them off our planet. Um, resource shortages, which is why our growth rate is quite low, but that's fine. We can deal with that later on. Um, I'm actually going to queue up, tempted to queue up a spaceport. Although I know it's quite expensive and we've got a resource shortage. I think maybe we should do that so we can actually repair our fleets while we're down here. Um, I don't know, maybe we should queue up a defense base first. Yeah, defensive base first, then a space. What's what I usually do, so that's what we're going to stick with. 
Um, I think we're going to need a defensive base on this planet too. We've already got one over here, so there we go. Um, spending a lot of our money, but that's fine. Private sectors definitely doing a lot better, which is good. Building some more ships, which is also good. So it means they're a little bit happy about how things are going. Alrighty, guys, we're nearly there. I think we're about there. Oh, phew. This could be this could be it. This could be end of this um, end of this playthrough if we lose our fleets and lose our spaceport. Alrighty, here we go. Declare war. Lifting the blockade up there, no doubt they are because we are now fighting them. Alrighty, I'm just going to pause it, I'm just going to let the game run and I'm not going to talk until it's sort of over, so. Wowzers. Looks like they're fleeing though, so that's actually pretty good. Hopefully we can take out some of their ships before they do. No, they all bummed out. Uh, so it didn't, didn't really work out the way I thought it would, but that's fine. Um, at least it's lifted the blockade of our of our home um, fleet. So I should jump in here. I don't think we actually got any of their ships. No, by the looks of it, that's fine. It's not really a problem though, I don't think, for the moment. It looks like they're just going to run away. We may actually sort of just see if we can potentially um, just get them back at peace again. I'm good too, under attack, but that's fine. Um, we have our fleets jump over here quite quickly. This is the Savage Force. So the Savage Force is going to lose some ships, so 372. Yep, so lost 12 ships, which is quite cool. Repair our fleets here. They didn't look like they didn't take really any damage at all, which is quite nice though, so that's good. We fuel you these guys, which is good. Defense base under attack. Um, so that's a new one. So who are these guys? Can we pay you off? Uh, 15.50. Uh, I don't really want to. We don't really have anything to fight you off. I mean, we've got our, um, we've got our invasion fleet down there, but I don't really want to sort of send them down there like that. I'd rather have this build... Just sort of build out by itself, and then, um, and then we'll be okay. Mining station under attack. It's not built yet, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So you're sort of over there. Interesting. All right. Um, will you guys accept a peace treaty now? No way. Well, that's fine. We can deal with that. So they've all left, which is good. We should be fine there. Um, not really going to attempt to invade that planet. I don't think like we've got our um, forces down here. It'd take too long, I think, probably to sort of get back up here. But maybe we should. Maybe we should give it a go. We got a fortified bunker, five percent complete. It is a pretty decent sized planet, though. It's probably the only negative against it. Um, maybe we should. Maybe it's sort of really something we've got to do. So you can actually colonize another planet. It looks like it's sort of a different race. So it's an ice moon, something we couldn't colonize before but because we've got different race in our empire now, we can actually colonize it. So it's only 20K, 70K size. Oh, it's 20K size, 70% quality. I won't do that yet, I won't do that later. Um, yeah, capital ship completed, which is fine. Repulsed an invasion. Under attack from this Keskadon. Um, who are the Keskadon? So all of those guys up there. Yep, why not? Cool, done. Capital ships completed, just fine. Mining station under attack, it's the one that hasn't been finished yet, so that's fine, won't worry about that. Capital ship completed, done. Cool, um, all right, so I'm just gonna check out, so 29 minutes in the episode, I'm just gonna check out some of these few stats before we go. So still middling in the military stakes, so not really too far away from, like we're obviously a long way away from, a lot, a lot way in front from a lot of other ones, but sort of, um, yeah, it's definitely middling, which is okay, I guess. Population, we're actually sort of increasing again, which is uh, so disappointing, we're like right up here at the top. It would've been okay, anyway. No more tears. Um, territory is okay. Economy, yeah, economy is rubbish. That's to be expected. Strategic value, military strength, top colonies. Not even in the list anymore. Disappointing. Disappointing, guys. Right, how's Trantor going? 22 billion, 8%. Um, GDP is definitely coming up quite quickly now, which is good. So hopefully 
when we can run out of money next time we may sort of go for one more round of tech trading or tech selling and then start taxing our planet again and see if we can recover quite a bit of that cash flow hopefully cross our fingers um, how are these planets I'm actually tempted to do something just before we finish so we've actually finished that planetary defense how's this one going is it nearly finished it's 85% so that's pretty good what about this one here they're both finished there which is good what about this one here we got two militia. I'm just going to put another planetary defense there. What I'm thinking, guys, is because we're at war with, these, with this faction up here, I'm actually tempted to actually try and bring up our um, armored forces up to here and actually try and give this, have a crack at this planet here, um, which would give us like a really good buffer from from them because we'd have this planet sort of as a buffer before they got into our sort of our home sector down here. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to give that a whirl. Um, I won't do it this um, episode because we're running at 31 minutes now, but that's what I'm going to do next time. So. So we're going okay, I guess, considering, you know, the, the problems that we've had. I, I still think that we're just going to be too far behind. I think other people are sort of going to keep increasing. Definitely, uh, our research is going okay now. So to 400k, though, it might be worth building some specialized research stations. Not that we can really afford them, but we may look at that next time. Yeah, so anyway, I guess we're okay. Um, we haven't had any major c catastrophes, but, but yeah, obviously struggling. So that's where we are. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. hope you're enjoying the series and that you want to stick around. You want me to keep playing. If you do, sort of let me know. And, yeah, so as always, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel. That would be enormously appreciated. So until then, I will see you all next time, guys.